How many of you are in education? If you are not preparing those students to be cyclical, lifelong, different types of learners, you're not preparing them for what's facing them in corporate America. If I told you, you know, my relationship with my boyfriend is sustainable, you'd say, you should get out of that, right? We are so far from this thing called sustainability from an environmental standpoint, it's almost like you can't do much wrong. Get out of your own way. Don't make this thing so complicated that you can't get from here to there. We're trying to calibrate the laws, the court laws of economics that are 238 years old now with the laws of the biosphere that are 3.8 billion years old. And it's not working out real well for us. The model is all wrong. It turns out that humans are healthier, they're more productive, they're happier if you start to do a series of critical things. We desperately need to reconnect to the outdoors. And one of the nice things about the Center for Sustainable Landscapes is it's all about connecting to the outdoors. If you design and build correctly, you increase human health and productivity, teacher retention, test scores, while you reduce operating costs. What school board wouldn't like that? Doing community is hard. It is hard. And it is about making decisions and, cre and creating a position that's based in what you absolutely know to be true in support of the community that you have spent a good portion of your life supporting. When we act as caring, consistent, literate adults, we are truly developing the ecosystem of our kids. If we understand how to work with a whole human being, we will understand how to work with the whole of life. I made some mistakes in my past that involved destroying communities, but today I'm helping to revitalize them. There's one thing all of us in this room can agree upon. It is easier to raise healthy children than fix broken men. It really is. How do we shift our focus from pushing off death, you want to get dramatic, to loving life. I got passion for my plants and I'm not afraid to show it. I'm Steve Ridge from Green Bronx Machine. I'm farming and you know it. Thank you so much. Please help me grow this. Thank you, thank you. Si se puede. We have the ability right now to have an entirely sustainable planet. There is nothing that needs to be invented. Coming here to Pittsburgh and hearing all that y'all are doing you have no idea how much it restores my faith in building community, so thank you for that. <laughs>